If you're new to structures, you're probably going to listen some basic terms like struts and ties. That are actually two of the most critical components of any structures. Do you know you can easily identify the struts and ties in a simple bridge? Yes, and in our today's video, we're going to explain what are struts and ties, what is the difference between them, and obviously how you can identify them by just looking at them. Hey, structural enthusiasts, welcome back to I Am Civil Engineer your very own YouTube channel. Today, we are going to dive into a crucial concept that holds buildings together and ensure their stability, cut and ties. So now if you look at this bridge, you can see the load on the bridge is supported by columns that distribute the load downwards. These columns are called struts because they're under compression as the load is pushing through them. There is another example. Now again, in this bridge, these piers or columns are what you can identify easily as a strut. But what's going on here? In this example, the load is supported by a structure on top of the bridge connected to members. Now these members are called ties because they are under tension or taking tensile stresses as they are being pulled apart. There is another example of a tie member. The bridge is redistributing the forces to these members as tie. So let's now see how we're going to display these forces in a force diagram. I've got a couple of examples here, and I'm pretty sure that it will help you understand the bow's and how you can convert an actual structural component into a force diagram. Now, to describe these members using bow's notation, what we do is we use arrows pointing into the joints to represent compression and struts, and arrows pointing out of the joint to represent the member in tension size. So here is, here is a force diagram of a member uh, named as BC and CA. So can you guess now what does these members are in ties or struts? Well, it's pretty stick farmer actually. We can see that the member AB is a strut because it, it is pointing into the joint that is, it is getting that compressive force back. While the member BC and CA, they are in ties because you see they're pulling out of the joint. Now let's see what are the differences between struts and ties. Now if you think of a column, what forces you can imagine are being imposed? Well, it cannot be tension. Ideally, all columns are meant to be a compressive force, and it is called struts. In fact, a strut in engineering term is referred to as a short column. The one then won't have any buckling or bending. So the basic difference between struts and ties is the direction of force. I've made another video about the differences between compression and tension, so you can go and check, take a look at that video uh, if you're new to stresses. I don't know, coming back to ties, imagine a spring being pulled. No, the spring is going to resist that tension, and in that case, we can say it's a tie. Another example can be of a truss bridge element that is resisting tension. So in a nutshell, we can say that the strut is a structural member that's, that is in compression, while a tie is a structural member that is in tension. Now, by understanding the fundamentals of struts and ties and using Bowers notation, we can better analyze and describe the forces that work in structures. These concepts are essential in ensuring the stability and safety of various construction projects. So, how was our today's video? Don't forget to hit subscribe. I just love that sound of bow icon. Drop in your thoughts below and let me know if you are now able to identify struts and ties the next time you try on that spanning bridge. See you and all next time.